Good evening, and hello once again, beautiful people of the world. The R4 Gold Pro 2020. It has served me well for the past week since I've got it. But now, I have learned of the Time Bomb. The Time Bomb is a sneaky tactic by the Chinese manufacturers to shut down the R4 one year after its release to make you buy the new one. Thankfully, they the R4 is designed very leniently as far as dumping files, so it's extremely easy to get by the time bomb. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you're going to need is you're going to need YS menu on your, uh, as your kernel on your R4, which is basically like your directory. So, I'll leave a link to this in the description. Um, it's a Google Drive folder with YS menu. Hit download on that biddy. And in the zip file, you're only going to need three files. You're going to want YS menu ttmenu.dat and ttmenu. Those are the only three files you need from the package that you downloaded off the Google Drive. Move those to the root of your SD card. Now, you're going to need another file. But first, I'm going to show you what the system would boot up like if you had the original... Um, hardware if you were to just download YS menu. So, I'm going to eject this. And we're going to grab our SD card. I'm a little bit sick today. So just Bear with my sniffling. I know it gets a little bit annoying. Insert it into here. And power this bitty on. So again, just the normal, you know, touch a bomber man. Open that up. So it's gonna boot you into this kernel, the R4i Revolution. So that's not what you want, because that's the one that'll, uh you know, brick your, uh, well, not brick, but just, like, expire your, uh, firmware after a year. This is what you want, ysmenu.nds. I just clicked on a DS game. I have to, uh, shut down the system. I don't know, the, the R4 goes into this weird sleep mode, and it's really annoying. Sometimes, I guess I activated the sleep mode web by holding L. But anyways, when loading I YS menu, this is the menu you want to get to. Um, here, I'm going to... This is the menu you want to get to. Sorry, interruptions, they happen a lot. This is the YS menu... Very hard to see on this old freaking DS screen, but that's the YS menu. That is not uh, rigged to time bomb, so that's what you want to load into when you open the R4. So now I'm going to show you how, you go how you're going to do that. So power off your R4. And the way to check if you have a time bomb is to change your year up to like 2060 or something crazy. I did that and uh, I loaded in and I was shocked to see that the newest R4 Gold Pro 2020 was Reek to Time Bomb. Sneaky bastards. But not to worry. You can hack it in with YS menu and we can be on our merry way. So, I'll make this smaller. Here's our USB drive. What we're going to want to get is a okay, is a new r4.dat.dat file, which is this file right here. 
this is what loads into our um, directory. And so we need to replace that with a new r4.dat file, which I have right over here in my downloads. I'll leave a link to this again in the description. Just drag this new r4.dat file into your USB drive and make sure you have a backup of your R4 drive before you um, do this. Replace the file in this destination and then bam in your USB drive you should have a new R4.dat file. I'm going to do it again just because like I don't know I didn't feel like that uh, did it right. But there we go. Now we can eject this and now if we go back into our DS I don't cut a lot in these videos I'm sorry but just want to make sure everything is a-okay -okay. And then we're gonna bing bong bang. Goes the stylus here. Go into your settings. And change your date from 2020 to like 2060. And then just exit it out. Uh, there you can see it says 2060 at the top, 04 2060. And now you can shut this down, turn it back on. And you'll see once we load this, there is no error message. It boots right into YS menu. So, bam. That's how you get rid of your time bomb on the R4 Gold Pro 2020. You're going to have to use YS Menu. It's on, To me, it's much cleaner. Like, there's just a straight file directory. You can um, access all your files that you have organized on your SD card. Much cleaner than, um, much cleaner than uh, the regular directory, which has all your games listed all your NDS files listed and it's really hard to find stuff because it'll just show up right in the menu. YS menu is just much cleaner for me. So yeah, uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, follow my Twitch down in the link in the description. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.